Hey, Jed Guy from the Boston Herald here, another guest list of guitar, this time with Stash Y Slouch. Uh, thanks for coming in. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, formerly of The Deadly Gentleman, now on your own with oh, a own. solo album that came out uh, a couple weeks ago. That's right. Um, every, I, I love listening to bluegrass and I can't really do anything. Every time I do it, I just am like... And I'm like, wait, is that like fishes? like a fish song or something and then I just can't quite you know like all I can do is is sort of that like chick, chick, like rhythm but I don't really I don't really have an entry point into it what was your entry point into the music well uh, instrumentally speaking yeah I would say well instrumentally speaking I also looked used to look at bluegrass kind of like what the heck is going yeah. on yeah <laughs> right but then I had a few key moments listening to the band like the Stanley Brothers yeah. and even watching videos like Jimmy Martin great rhythm guitar player and just seeing what he does, both in the way that it's really simple, mm -hmm. not necessarily easy, but simple, and deliberate within the band sound. Yeah. So as a guitar player, when you're playing with like five-piece band, you have a mandolin, a bass, and a banjo rolling, for example. All you really have to do is like a really simple boom chuck. Mm -hmm. So I'd be just hitting the bass string and then yeah, just hitting just a really letting simple it, strong. Letting it hit out a little more. Yeah. And I think sometimes mm -hmm. people think that's almost too easy. But just doing it in a really deliberate way and carrying the rhythm, I think, yeah. you can fill out the sound as much as you need. You don't need to do much else. Yeah. So between that and then putting like bass runs. Yeah. You know, it's not too technical, but I think that's a big part of what the sound, what makes up that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think of, when I discovered the Stanley Brothers, yeah. um, I had... I had a friend who gave me a bunch of the Stanley Brothers music, and their guitar player, George Shuffler, yeah. he would play a lot of the melodies. So you hear a lot of these really flashy leads, for example, mm -hmm. but he would play the melodies to, to like the most simple point, but he would fill out the sound completely. So, for example, a song like You Are My Sunshine. Like, yeah. Something like that. And he yeah. would literally play that. Yeah. You know, where as opposed to be like. <laughs> and you don't need all those notes. <laughs> yeah. But then when you start diving deeper, you, you find that he'll add like a few notes or little syncopations that kind of give it that little spark that makes mm -hmm. you keep wanting, wanting to check it out. So when I realized that it's all these really simple folk melodies and you just don't have to do that much to fill out the music, uh, that, that kind of got me hearing all the more complicated stuff from that filter, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, absolutely. So you can see how it got deconstructed and then people reconstructed into all these different branches. And the way I got started with music was heavy metal. So yeah. that's how I got into it. And I feel like the way heavy metal is composed, maybe as opposed to bluegrass or folk music or most music really, is it's more riff based. Yep. Uh, as opposed to maybe melody based. Not mm -hmm. to say that heavy metal isn't melodic, but so I think a lot of the songs kind of came out more from this riff-based composition. So yeah, I think of a riff like. That. You can't necessarily hear a melody there, but there's like a groove and there's a sort of shape to it, yep. which makes up the riff. Yeah. And so between that and then just the acoustic tone and like the attack, which you get from something like bluegrass. Yep. Uh, that's kind of where I think the album all comes together in terms of like heavy metal meets bluegrass and how those compositions came to be. Yeah, yeah. So I think of it more as riff-based composition with the tones of the bluegrass. Can you play a little a uh, little more of a song, a little snatch to sort yeah. of show the, the viewers I'll, what you're doing? Totally. So I'll do a kind of, I'll do a song called 69 Tremors from the Vat or I'll do like little, two little riffs from it. Yeah. They kind of combine a sort of fiddle tune thing and the more heavy metal riff oriented. Yeah. So here's yeah. like a fiddle. It starts with uh, this metal riff and goes into this fiddle tune thing. The metal riff. One, two, three, four. That's insane. I love it. So 
it's kind of, and then you add like a little bit of shouting and you get the drums going and stuff and then it's like it's kind of a metal song and it's kind of got that little yeah it's a perfect uh sort of example of everything is in the presentation if that was played on electric guitar with distortion that would be metal but because right. it's not it's you know it's not for whatever reason yeah. right it's like can you uh can you sort of explain um the difference between sort of the attack in those in those things because it seems or is the attack sort of the same in terms of like your picking style and all that uh with the more metal like the, stuff? the literally the attack yeah yeah like do you kind of is it all the same and it's just sort of the the notes that give it the well that's a very good that's a very good point that i actually hadn't really thought about but i think that's one of the places where they do converge yeah maybe so you hear a guy like jimmy martin yeah Jimmy Martin would basically lead a whole band with just his bass runs. He had these incredible, like, invincible iron bass runs. And you knew exactly where he was going. You knew exactly where the beat was. So, yeah. you know. They'll do something like yeah, that, yeah. right? And to me, that's kind of got this, like, aggro. It does. It like, does. punk rock energy to it. The way he would... He would push the band. You listen to those old recordings, and like you can just hear him get right up on the mic and just like right on the sound hole. So you like you're feeling all the air. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's it's interesting because it's the it's the really the melody that that makes it so different. And maybe the yeah. swing of it. Maybe there's a yeah. there's a swing that you don't hear in metal. It's a little more even more straight. Yeah, I would say definitely the no choice and the groove. Yeah, would be the the things that would separate it. Yeah. yeah. There's no name for that style. I love it. It's <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah.